Okay, and once you've found your spot, the next thing is to build the jump. So have a look here. All right, so the plan is at the top of the bank, just before it starts to curve, I'm gonna lay a bunch of logs like this, just some old firewood, into a triangular shape. And then to put a nice smooth surface for my bike to roll up it, I'm gonna put on a bunch of dirt and slap it down nice and hard with a spade. And that's the plan, very simple, here's what you need. First thing you need to do is head out the door straight to the garage and grab your bike. Most any bike will do, whether it's a BMX or a mountain bike. Then head out to the woodshed, grab yourself some firewood logs, all different sizes are perfect. Then of course you're gonna need a dirt supply. So ask mum or dad before you go digging up the front lawn. And to do that, you're gonna need a spade as well. This is gonna come in very handy for packing in your dirt. Now before I do any jumping, I need to make sure that the landing is safe and that there's nothing that I'm going to crash into. So there's a nice rock that I've found. Don't wanna crash into that. Got another log here. This will be perfect for the jump. Oh, there's another solid one right there. Wanna get these things out of the way because it's safety first. First, lay down your wood in a ramp shape. Now to turn this into a nice, smooth, fast jump and to hold it together nicely, it's time to grab some dirt and fill in all of the cracks here so that it's all held together. And then finally on top, I'm gonna pack on more dirt and beat it in with the spade. Time to use those muscles I talked about. Now dig up some dirt and use that dirt to fill up all the cracks in the wood. Now lay on even more dirt and start slapping it into position so that you've got a nice smooth surface. My favorite technique is the slap and drag. All right, now what's gonna make your jump awesome is that you have it nice and hard, okay? If you have a hard, smooth surface on your jump, you're gonna get plenty of speed as you whiz up it. But if it's not hard and it's soft, then you're gonna lose all your speed and do a little jump, and you wanna get some air, okay? So I've been packing this thing in for a good half an hour using those guns, and uh, it's reasonably dense, but to really test that out, grab your bike and put some pressure on it, so just ride up it, just up the jump, and see if your bike sinks in, okay? So here we go, we've got all my weight on there, okay? And as you can see in the middle there, right where my tire is, look at that, there's a bit of a ditch in the middle there, which means I can simply keep rolling my bike up and down like this for a while until it's nice and solid. And if I need to fill in any um, serious holes, then I just grab some more dirt, pack it in there, keep rolling it until it's nice and hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Man, this jump is awesome, and it's something so fun that you could get out there and do with your mates. It's very simple to make. All you're going to need is some logs, some dirt, a spade, a bit of muscle, a nice bank, and some time. All of the instructions are gonna be up there on the Sticky TV website. I'd love to hear about how it goes for you. Oh, that was so cool! You should totally subscribe. Look here.